walk the same roads every day We both get there our own way This land and apple tree How different two souls can be but we What's going on guys? My name is Noah and this is Broken Arrow Bison. Some of you guys have asked me what in the world is my whistle and why do I do it? Um, right now we're kind of in the training stage of these animals. My last herd I had them trained to a whistle. That way if they ever got out or something like that or I needed to call them to a certain part of the field, um, I could. So what I do with these guys is every time I feed them, um, I whistle. And so even when they're right close to me, I just continually whistle every once in a while. That way they associate whenever they're feeding uh, on range cubes, that whistle is associated to that. Um, I try to do things a little bit different. I always carry a white bucket. Uh, and so sometimes they'll see that white bucket and start perking up. And one of the questions that I've gotten uh, regarding the whistle is, hey, it was unique. Where did you get it? Well, I can't say that it was a whistle of my own. Um, there's a movie called Iron Will that some of you guys have probably heard of, uh, made, I believe, in the 90s. And it was about a uh, kid who did a sled dog race. Um, and he used the whistle to uh, get his dogs to mush or, or get going. Um, that movie was something from my childhood that I really, really enjoyed. Um, but even a little bit deeper than that, it was a movie that we got to watch when we went, went out to my grandparents' place. I just got back from seeing my grandmother uh, not too long ago, and it really kind of reminded me of that. I actually saw Iron Will in, in, uh, sitting in her house, and it reminded me of, of where I came up with that whistle. My grandparents were a huge influence on uh, what I'm doing now, honestly. Uh, grew up in the city and went out to their place every probably you know, month to two months, something like that. Uh, and it was going out onto the farm. And it was just, a, just an awesome experience to be able to, as a city kid, go out on the farm, experience uh, wide open spaces, nature. Uh, my grandparents were just awesome people. Um, and I'm very, very lucky to have them in my life. Uh, my grandfather since passed away. Uh, he was a, just a tremendous guy and really had a big influence on my life and, and really what I'm doing here. And so that whistle was kind of, uh, an inside tribute to my grandparents, honestly, um, because that movie, always reminded me of going to my grandmother's place and um, waking up and and uh, on Saturday mornings and fishing with the cousins and and just uh, just having a good time so whenever I whistle to the buffalo it's kind of an inside thing for myself um, as a tribute to um, my grandparents that uh, I'm very very grateful for uh, the experiences that they gave me when I was a kid um, because without them, without uh, showing me uh, what was possible, um, I wouldn't be here today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, hearing that little story. Um, so yeah, so the, the whistle is actually from the movie Iron Will, and it was actually a really kind of powerful movie for me, um, that it was just uh, just stuck in my head of, of a good example of not to give up um, and so when I first got my buffalo be even before I got them I already set in my head of I knew what kind of call I was going to use for them um, and so that's what my last herd was trained to it was really cool to see them out in the middle of the field walk over to the fence and uh, go whistle to them and them just come barreling in, just rolling in. And uh, these guys are starting to get there. Um, they're, they're getting, they're a little mosey, kind of walking in. But if you saw at the beginning of the video, 
uh, 88, she came running. So eventually you'll start, start to see that in uh, some of our later videos. It'll be fun to watch. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed that little backstory of where my call comes from. Seeing some of you guys coming over from Dusty's channel, really appreciate you guys joining our journey. Uh, Dusty is a tremendous guy and he has uh, really helped grow this channel and he's really done a great job with the bison industry. I'm really proud of uh, being able to work with him. So thank you to Dusty Baker and his family. He's awesome to work with. So I appreciate you guys joining our journey. We love being able to share this animal with you guys and, and uh, taking you along for the ride. So hopefully you enjoy it uh, as much as I do. I have a blast doing it. So thank you. And uh, remember to like and subscribe to our channel if you guys haven't already. Hit that bell icon. That will tell you whenever we put out a new video. We're trying to up the video count a little bit um, per week. So hopefully we'll get into the three or four video range per week. Um, it's a little bit of work being able to put out these videos honestly and uh, be able to edit them and everything. So it's a little little bit of a juggle, but I enjoy it. So um, we are going to start going live uh, every week, every other week. We'll see uh, depending upon how my scheduling works out, but typically it'll be on a Saturday morning. So if you have that uh, bell rung on your notification, um, it will let you know whenever we're going live. So looking forward to seeing you guys next time and have a good rest of your day. But we both grow from the same sorrow. If we both know we'll be together tomorrow. I can be like a tree in the wind. Same old roots, but I can bend. Turning to understand and sway together